today. From Mercedes-Benz Stadium in Atlanta, Georgia. It's week nine of the NFL on EA Sports. Falcons taking on the Denver Broncos. The weather this time of year in the South, perfect. Fall football weather. And we've got the roof wide open here at Mercedes-Benz Stadium in the heart of Georgia. Nothing like the fanfare of introductions to an NFL game, and that was in evidence a moment ago. Fireworks, pyrotechnics, you name it. This crowd is ready as their guys get set to match up between the Denver Broncos and the Atlanta Falcons. Hello again, everyone. Brandon Gordon along with Charles Davis. And Charles, we take a look at this Falcons team as they interplay. They already have as many wins in the second half as they did in the first half, and we're just starting the second half. The number. Just the first two months of the regular season down. What will the final two bring us as we're off in week nine? That'll be taken about a yard deep. And he returns this to the 22. James on the return. So here are the Broncos now for their opening drive. They are led out by their 27-year-old quarterback, a two-time Pro Bowler. It's Dak Prescott. And you've got to think that they've got to be feeling pretty fresh. You know, coming off of the open week, didn't have to play, right? Gives them a chance to rest up a little bit, heal some of those aches and pains, and excited about playing again. That really rekindles things a little bit. I want to see how they come out and establish themselves here early. And that bye week coming right where they want it in the middle of the schedule. Yeah, boy, and it's tough to bring him down that time. He surges forward. He's going to get a full six out of that. Second down. From the shotgun, it's Prescott. It's caught by Quincy Anunwa. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. A gain of 12. First down, Broncos. A first carry for Leonard Fournette. And he'll push this forward only to about the 42-yard line. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. A gain of two. Brings up they stay on the ground. This time it's Johnson. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. It's a first down on a gain of 10. How best to describe that one? I'd say right down Broadway on that run. A straight ahead running. I think that that might be something we see a lot of between the tackles today. Well, he's enjoying things so far here this afternoon. Sees a crease and bursts through it for a solid game. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Second and seven. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. And it's third down. Prescott from the gun on third. Now he's flushed out left. And that's going to be good for another first down as the tackle's made at the Falcons' 27-yard line. A nice job there on the escape and scramble. A first down, a 16-yard gain. And the Broncos' first down. On first and 10, Prescott gets this into the hands of Nikhil Harry. And he'll go down right on the edge of the red zone following a pickup of about 7 or 8. A 7-yard pickup. Brings up second and three at the Falcons' 20-yard line. Gets it to Gabriel on the jet sweep. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. A gain of five. First Prescott down. This will be caught just inside the 10. And all the way down inside the five to the four. It's a good gain of 11. Sets him up first and goal. He'll try and run. This is Johnson. And he will take it in for a Bronco touchdown. 
Touchdown. David Johnson, his second touchdown on the season. And the Broncos take it all the way down the field and score on the opening drive. The losing streak had taken on a life of its own, and I think it infiltrates a team when you're on that much of a slide. But this group has managed to focus, come out early, and put a touchdown on the board. They, they look like they mean business in this one. Well, they do now the key, holding on to that attitude because, man, that streak has been a struggle for them. Kai Forbath on for the extra point. And he's got it. 7 nothing Broncos. So that one a long 11-play drive. And it's David Johnson who provides the capper as he scores on the touchdown run. Forbath to send it away now following the touchdown. And this will make it into the end zone. And he'll decide to not bring this one out as their drive will begin at the 25. So here are the Falcons now as they get set for their opening possession. And they'll be led at quarterback by the veteran from Tulane, Ryan Griffin. And this is a game for grit, determination, and somehow finding a way not to panic. What a horrible start for them. I mean, they haven't won a game yet. So now, as a quarterback, you're not just talking to your team. You've got to demonstrate to them what they need to do to win. He's got to be the leader by how he plays. Pass intended for An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. By Josh Norman. Now a first carry for their fullback. And trying to push forward, but he is going to be stuffed up in the backfield. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. A loss of one brings up third down and 11. On third down, Griffin. And he's got his man in stride, complete. And he's going to come up a bit short. He needed to get to the 35 for the first, but he only makes it to the 34. One of the money routes for any offense, the drag route. So tough to defend because the receiver can stop at any point and make himself available to the quarterback and get a completion. But I love the communication we saw there. All the defenders pointing out the receiver, where he was going, and then they're able to rally to the ball after the catch and stop him short of a first down. They're coming out with a jumbo package to start the drive. Look at the throw, Prescott. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. So now they'll come up on second and 10, once again from the 28. Second and 10. From the gun, a run for Johnson. And he'll get about four across the 30 to the 32. David Johnson, the ball carrier. He's tackled at the 32-yard line. A gain of four. And it's third. On third down, it's Prescott. And yeah, that is incomplete. And this is what you want to see from a defense. Give up an opening drive touchdown, that's fine. But how about them going back out there, recommitting themselves to the task at hand, and forcing a three and out, and giving the ball back to their offense. It'll be a net of 40 yards there, following a 43-yard punt, three-yard return, and the Falcons will be taking over first and 10. So for the second time in this one, we get set to see the Falcons offense. And a three and out on that first drive. We'll see if they can do better here. They should have a better opportunity because the nerves should be settled now. That first series, everybody goes out a little extra emotion. So now they get a chance to go back out and say, okay, now we're into the game. Let's go play and play as best we can. You almost get a mulligan then on that first drive. Sometimes it absolutely serves that way. You get a second opportunity. Nothing big happened. But then again, you didn't commit any mistakes either. Off you go. That'll go as a pickup of 32 on the catch and run. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. Here's the fullback now. It's Keith Smith. And he'll be brought down on the 30-yard line after a gain of six. And the ball on the 30. Here's second and four. It's a pickup of six. Brings up second and four. Looking to find a lane, but he can't rein in at the line of scrimmage. Made by Miles Jack. No gain on the play. It's now third. This time Griffin will throw. And that will be incomplete. 
today's NFL, these big guys are featured receivers. They move all over the place to try and find good matchups. And they had one, they were just unable to complete the pass. 47 yard attempt. And this one is right down Broadway. And they are on the board, but still trailing. It's seven to three. Broncos seven, Falcons three. So a good kick there to polish off the drive with three points. Yeah, coaches always talk about finishing a drive with a kick. Two of them give you points, either an extra point or, in this case, a field goal. And we see James. He will now return it, and they'll bring it out to the 25. The Broncos onto the field, ready to start their next drive. They're out in front. Last time they had to punt it away. We'll see if they can add to their lead now. They don't want to go out and, and punt it away again. This team now wants to get a cushion, put people away. They want to run their offense and have it end up in the end zone. Part of their struggles last week was getting these negative plays on first and second down. That's something they have to be wary of as this game continues. Here's a throw out wide complete to his running back right side. And he'll be brought down on the 30-yard line after a gain of six. A gain of six yards. And it's third down. Out of the gun. Here's Prescott. Got his man. That's Harry. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. It's a gain of 10. First down, Denver. Fournette, a first down carry. And he will be brought down at about the 43 that time. Ball carrier. A gain of three, second down. The 43-yard line. It's a pickup of three. Brings up second and seven. On second down, Johnson. And he'll be brought down at the 48-yard line. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. To the 48-yard line. From Falcon territory now, here's first and 10 at the 48-yard line. They stay on the ground on first with Johnson. And that play goes nowhere. Taken down, losing yardage at the 50, right at midfield. Two yards the loss, second and 12. Brings up second and 12. Prescott now from the 50. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he'll go down shy of the 40 at the 41. A gain of nine brings up third down. After one, 7 3, the score on EA Sports. Broncos seven, Falcons three. The heavy set out there. Three tight ends in the formation for third and three. They'll try and run for it with Fournette. And he gets it to the 34. Good enough for the first. Seven yards there. Good enough to move the sticks. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. They keep it with Fournette on first down. And he still has yet to get on track in this first half as they're going to stop him behind the line. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Maybe just a slight detour on what's been a strong drive. Here's second and 11. Prescott from the gun. And a quick throw here. That's complete. This will be a gain of about eight to the 27-yard line. Eight yards on the completion, but now they face third down. It brings up third down. And he's going to have the hook up here with Harry. And that's going to be good for another first down as the tackle's made at the Falcons' 13-yard line. A gain of 14. That's a play that will likely be forgotten when you talk about big moments in this game. But plays like this are critical to keep drives going. And if points result, we'll call this play significant. From the red zone now, Prescott. This will be caught at about the five. Prescott. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. Brings up second and a yard at the four-yard line. On second down, here's Fournette. And he'll go backwards, losing yardage to the five. The running lanes have definitely not been there for him here in the first half, and I don't think it's all been his fault. His offensive line hasn't given him much space. A loss results there. And movement by one of the Broncos up front, and in comes the flag. And that'll set him back five. And a manageable third down becomes a lot less manageable. Third and seven after the false start. 
Throwing. Prescott. Screenplay. Johnson. Well, this is going to depend on the spot, but it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. Six yards on the pickup, and that's going to bring up a fourth down. For a second there, I thought that might break big. Screen pass. Looked like it was coming together. Looked like there was an opening. Still ended up with a solid game. Makes the score. Broncos 10. Falcons 3. That will go down as a 15-play drive, and it results in three points. So some disappointment? It's funny. We had our conference before the game with the offensive coordinator. What did he tell? Now a hit and a loose football. Fumble on the play. Recovered by the receiving team. So a teammate picking him up there, that was nearly disaster. And the way that you coach these things, you want to make sure you have eyes towards the return guy because you want to make sure that the catch is secured. A lot of teams do that. They have at least one guy. Okay, you're responsible for making sure he secures the catch. He's not always the one that makes the recovery, but he can always sound out the alarm. Hey, ball's on the ground. We've got to get it back. That one, a first down pickup of eight. And that looked like some pretty easy yardage there right up the gun. And he's a guy that has some height to him. So when you don't have to drop a shoulder or create or get through contact or trash, it makes it a lot easier to stay upright, see the field, and make a run as we just saw there. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. This a second and seven from the 37. At the 37-yard line. Now they'll throw it with Griffin into a double team, and it's intercepted. Zach Cunningham with a pick, and they'll set up shop in enemy territory at the 45-yard line. At the 45. And that's a great example of ball skills right there, partner. You and I do a lot of games, and I can't tell you how many guys look to run with the football before they've intercepted it. So that's a nice job of focusing on the task at hand and coming away with the interception. And now let's look at David Johnson. He's been good. His guys are winning. So far, the recipe working here in the second quarter. And he doesn't like to just tote the rock. He wants to carry his team on his back. And that's what he's done throughout this game. Yeah, he's done that. He'll be hoping to continue that trend. It's a pickup of three. Brings up second and seven. On second and seven, Prescott. And that'll be incomplete. Prescott. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. It's third down and seven. Now Prescott. And he'll get this underneath to David Johnson. And he's able to get it to the 33. Good enough for a first down. A gain of nine. That gain of nine buys them a new set of downs. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. A toss running left, Fournette. It'll be a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll make it second and a foot or so. A good position to be in here, second and inches. Now Prescott. Open man, Taylor Gabriel. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. His first catch, good for 14 there and a first down. Prescott to throw it. And he is into the end zone for a Denver touchdown. Quincy Anunwa, his first touchdown on the year. And the Broncos will add on to their lead. And that's exactly what you're supposed to do with good field position. You make the other side pay when you don't have far to go for the score. Formath to add the extra point. It's up and good, and that makes it 17-3. That time, a six-play drive, and it culminates in a touchdown by the Broncos. Forbath to send it away now following the touchdown. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. Take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Here he is.
is the man taking the snaps under center, heading out for the next possession. He's got to dig deep here, doesn't he? Team's losing. He's not playing well either. And they always tell you, don't press. You'll make things a little bit worse. Now look out, Griffin hit, and he lost the football. It's loose. It's picked up by the Broncos. And his guys are going to get the football at the 28-yard line. Now a 10th carry for Johnson. And he'll take this down just shy of the 25-yard line. The ball carrier. Give him a couple on the carry there. Second and eight. A gain of two. Brings up second. Throwing on second and eight. Prescott. This is Gabriel out on the left side. And he'll get it down this time to the 17. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. Now Leonard Fournette, and he'll be stopped after a gain of only a couple down to the 15-yard line. He's brought down at the 15-yard line. Two yards on the pickup. It's second and... This is Fournette. And effective running here. He'll take it down inside the 10. He was brought down. The Broncos on third down. They've been very good, five for seven thus far. This time they face a third and two. And a penalty flag down as he gets only about a yard. Now let's listen in on the call. That one whistled against a big right tackle. You'd think being able to fire out and block would be a lot easier to not commit a holding penalty, but it's tough to keep those guys right in front, isn't it? Still on his feet. And able to get this down inside the 15, either the 13 or 14 before he's out of bounds. A game of three yards. Got to give credit where it's due. Really nice defense on that play. The pitch and catch was successful, but not any run after it. And Forbath will put this one through, and that'll push the lead up to 17. Goes 20, Falcons 3. So the drive stalls out inside the 15-yard line, but they do get three. And I've talked with enough players nowadays that when they have these types of kicks, that no one says to their guy, hey, that's just like making an extra point, piece of cake. Because the extra point's not a piece of cake anymore. <laughs> but kicking a field goal from that distance, just give them confidence and let him knock it through. About set to begin their next drive, the Falcons offense at the line. And last time they coughed it up, led to a field goal. They're fortunate that it only led to a field goal, but still, they're not happy about it. Could you sense the relief, though, when okay. they only gave up the field goal? And they were able to trot back out on the field to start this drive. A little more pep in their step because they didn't cost their team a touchdown. But they know they've got to do it a lot better than they did on the last possession. The coach will just be relieved, though, if they recoup with a score here, right? I think the coach will be ecstatic to see them pick themselves back up and now take it down here, punching the end zone without turning it over. 12 yards there and a first down. On first down, Griffin. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And he'll get two or three out of that one as that is going to take us to the two-minute warning. Three yards the gain there, second down. And we'll remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll join Jonathan Coachman of the gang in Orlando. Coach will have stats and scores from the early games going on here around the NFL. Now this one to his tight end out on the right side. That catch good for five. It's third down. Griffin will throw again. Got a man, and he hits him in stride. And this is going to be another first down as he'll make the tackle at the Broncos 40. First down. On first and 10, it's Griffin. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. It's a gain of eight. Facing a second and two after that last catch, good for eight yards. Nowhere to turn here, and he's going to go down. Back at about the 37-yard line. Now the Falcons going to use one of their timeouts as they'll stop it with exactly a minute to go before halftime. On third down, Griffin firing quickly here, and that's complete. 
The Falcons going to use the second of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. A first and ten here. You know, if they could just get three out of this, there's something about narrowing it to a two-score game at half that makes it feel like much less of an obstacle. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. Down at the line of ball on the 30 as they come up second and ten. To throw again, Griffin. And a quick throw here. That's complete. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. A gain of 13. It's a first down. First and 10. Well, these guys have definitely been outplayed in the first half. I like their countenance. I like the way that they're acting panicked out there, the way they're carrying themselves. They're starting to move the ball. And what you have to do, maintain your poise and start to put together some drives. Falcons going to use their third and final timeout as it'll come with 15 seconds to play in the first half. Two yards left on second down from the nine. Throwing again, Griffin. And that's incomplete. Clock stops with 10 seconds left. After the incompletion, here now, third and two. Once again, Griffin, and that is incomplete, seven seconds remaining. So two third down conversions on this drive, but not able to get a third, and now they deal with fourth down. Fry on for the field goal, a 26-yard attempt. And his kick is indeed good, and that will close the gap down to 14. Makes the score, Broncos 20, Falcons 6. So a late three there, and that'll help as they head into the break. Talk about situational football and something they've worked on since the OTAs and mini camps the previous summer. They take care of the ball, get three points, knowing they're going to get the ball to start the second half. That's the old two-for-one special to finish things off. So we have come to halftime in what's already a two-touchdown game. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. Hi again, everybody. Let's get you caught up with what's going on around the NFL here on this first day of November. Lastly, let's check on one final game for you. And you can see they are scoreless as they play the second quarter. In the game you're watching, you've seen a strong first half out of Dak Prescott. His guys have a two touchdown lead as we hand it back over to Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, coach, thank you. And we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. Broncos with a lead, and they will be receiving this kickoff here as quarter three is underway. And they will wrangle him down a couple yards shy of the 30. Falcons take over first and 10 at their own 28 yard line. Atlanta prepped and ready for its next possession. And tough to win games if you're going field goal, field goal, field goal here. They got field goal last time. Now they'll be looking for a touchdown. They're looking for the big chunk now because, as you noted, the field goal, field goal, field goal way of doing it makes it that much harder. It puts more pressure on every possession for you now. Go ahead and get six and feel a lot more comfortable about the position they're in. Bigger chunks. We'll see if they can get the score. Trying to bounce it outside, but he's only able to get it back to the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. From the gun, it's Griffin. And this is going to be incomplete. So coming up empty here to start the third quarter. Already two scores down. Got to be careful. Yeah, I did notice, though, that the captain of the defense patted the quarterback on the helmet on his way out, pretty much letting him know, we know the pressure's on us. We're going to go out there and try and hold serve for you while you figure it out over here on the sidelines. 46 yards on the boot. The coverage holds him to just three on the return. And the Broncos take over. First down and 10. Prescott looks to throw on first. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. That play going for 16 yards to start the drive. First down. One play has him to the 37 here for first and 10. 
They give it off here to the tight end. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. No gain on the play there. Second down. No gain on the play. Running from the gun, Johnson. At the 38-yard line. And he's able to get most of what he needed on the carry there. Seven yards on the gain. And it's third and two now. A couple extra tight ends in the formation here as they line up third and two. Now Fournette. And he's got the first down yardage as he takes it down to the 49. It'll go as a gain of six that time, and it moves the chains as well. First down. From Falcon territory now, here's first and 10 at the 49-yard line. Here's Johnson. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. A 10-yard pickup, and it's enough for a Broncos first down. It's a game so of from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Fournette. And the play goes nowhere. Losing yardage back near the 40 at the 39. They'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. A loss of a yard brings up second and 11 at the Falcons' 39-yard line. On second and 11 now. Prescott got a man open. That's Harry. Prescott. And he'll work it inside the 30 to the 29-yard line. Nine yards, and that leaves him just short. So it'll be third and less than a yard. They'll try and run for it. Here's Johnson. And he's got the first as they'll bring him down at the 28-yard line. They keep it on the ground. This time it's Fournette. And he's able to break out of one tackle, but then quickly brought down. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. A gain of two brings up second and eight. Throwing on second and eight. Prescott. Johnson with a completion over the middle. They get him to the ground right on the cusp of the red zone after a pickup of five or six. And it's third down. Prescott on third and two. And that is caught. Touchdown, Denver. Quincy Anunwa with two touchdowns on the season, both in this game. And the Broncos push further out in front. Partner, they had a good lead as they went in at the half, and they came out here in the second half and found a way to extend it. I love their consistency. Don't worry about what they said at halftime. This seemed like a team that was ready to play 60 minutes. And while this game is far from over, I love their approach. And a pause in the action because the booth, they see something that they want to take another peek at to find out if this was a touchdown or not. Forbath lining up for the extra point. It took them an extra look, but they found out it is a touchdown indeed. The official says this one counts. The kick is good. And he'll bang that one through. A pretty long drive that time. 11 plays all told. And it ends with a Denver touchdown. Forbath to send it away now following the touchdown. Taking it about the one. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. First and 10 at their own 26-yard line. Atlanta now coming out on the field. They're down three touchdowns to this point, needing to put something together as they have it first and 10. And now a carry here for their fullback. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine for the 26. Out of the gun, Griffin. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. And the Broncos get there and take him down. Ryan Griffin's sack. 
I think we've seen this before. Yeah, Someone's down three scores. That situation there, it's just going to add to their growing frustrations, don't you think? Yeah, a bad number three right now. Three-score game, third quarter, three and out, not what they wanted. And you can tell on the sideline, those faces are getting a little bit longer as this one goes. Take over first down. Elsewhere, second half is underway up at Orchard Park. Now you saw the score at the bottom of your screen a moment ago. We got a good one going on there. Remember to keep an eye on the ticker, of course, at the bottom of your screen for updates on that game and others around the NFL. And very little running room there. He did get a couple up to the 49. Two yards on the pickup. From just shy of midfield, Prescott. Catch is made by Harry. But it appears that they read man defense and went to the out route. And what you have to do in that one is the receiver's got to make sure he works the defender towards the middle of the field to give himself space to cut to the outside and have that ball delivered with good timing. And they got it done. And they'll get this to the 30-yard line before crossing over out of bounds. It'll be a pickup of 16 and a Bronco first down. First down. Broncos. Let's give a little credit there. The offensive play caller sensed that the screen pass was available. Whenever you're getting a lot of heavy pressure towards your quarterback, that's when you're thinking about running the screen and using that pressure against the defense. And it worked very well there for a first down. Ten more there and another first down. It's a gain of ten. First so down. first and ten. And if they score on this drive, might have to start digging in our second half blowout material. They stay on the ground. This time it's Johnson. Johnson on the carry. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. A gain of four. It's now second and six. Again, it's Johnson. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. Now they're going to be dealing with a third and seven as that one officially a loss of one. Third down. On third down, it's Prescott. And he fires one, but incomplete. It certainly didn't appear that that's where he wanted to go with the ball initially, so he tried to get something out of it by dumping it off to his running back unsuccessfully. And Forbath will put this one through, and that will extend their lead even further. So three field goals that he's hit. Now this last one helps him stretch out the lead. He's been solid, hasn't he? And he lives up to the adage that every offensive coach has ever said to us. We want to end every possession with a kick, right? For them, it's either extra point, field goal, or at worst, a punt. In this case, it's been threes. So holding will scratch off some of that return. And I know fans get frustrated when they see penalties of this sort on kick returns, but it is difficult to do it right against these moving targets at full speed. Hard to do. They'll try and run with their fullback. And a short gain there as he'll get it up only to about the 24. To the fullback. Miles Jack there to make the tackle. 24 yard line. One yard gain. Brings up second and nine. And again, they'll go right back to their fullback. And he'll take this one up close to the 25-yard line. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. Third down now. Those last two plays indicative of how things have gone for them. Just nowhere to go on the ground. Under pressure, and down he goes. Looks like another empty possession here, partner. And I don't think with three scores down in the third quarter, they can truly afford any more the rest of the way. No, especially the way their offense is sputtering. I, I think you're exactly right. They got to find some answers quickly. So possession goes over here on the punt. And that will come the offense as they take over. At their own 37. Good starting position for the Broncos here as they come up first and 10 at their own 37. From the shotgun, it's Prescott. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. Incomplete. Line of scrimmage again the 37 as they line up second and 10. Here's Johnson. He's been busy this afternoon. And he'll be stopped right at midfield. A gain of 13. It's a first down. Right at midfield. A gain of 13 yards. And the Broncos first down. Fournette, a first down carry. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. 
That's back now here on EA Sports. A lot of folks starting to make their way to the parking lot. Their guys trail big here to begin quarter number four. Eight yards the gain on that last run. Here's second and a couple. From the gun, a run for Johnson. And he'll get it inside the 40 to the 39. Four yards the pickup, first down. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Fournette running out of the gun. And this one's going to go the wrong way. Losing yardage back at the 42. Yikes, a four-yard loss really sets him back now for second down. Throwing on second and 14. Prescott, and he'll get that to Fournette complete. Give him eight on the play, and just like that, it's third down. A gain of eight yards. And it's third down. They'll run with Fournette. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. Bit of a surprise. They ran it on third and medium. Proved to be the right call. First and 10. First and 10. And they've got three tight ends out there. A jumbo package look. On the run, it's Fournette. He is taken down at the 21 after a short gain of two. Tackle made at the 21-yard line. A gain of two brings up second and eight. On second down, Johnson. And not much to speak of there. Maybe a yard down to the 20. He's brought down. Out of the huddle now for play number nine on this drive. This is third down and eight. Third down. Here's Prescott. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. And he'll be out of bounds, taking it just shy of the 10 at the 11 of the 12. Johnson. A gain of nine. Now first and 10 at the 11. First down. Here's a 20th carry for Johnson. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Brings up second and five. Now Leonard Fournette. And he goes backwards on this one. Losing yardage to the seven. A loss on that play. And now third down gets tougher. Third and six. And it's third down. Prescott from the gun on third. And this is caught for a Bronco touchdown. Three touchdown passes now for Dak Prescott as his guys continue to pour it on. As that lead just swells and swells. Look, this has been dominance in all three phases, offense, defense, and special teams. So don't we have to give a lot of credit, not just to what we've seen today, but the preparation in advance coaching staff, commitment by the players to the game plan, and being ready to go in this one, you're exactly right. Clean sweep, and boy, they're going to celebrate this one after it's over. And on the other side, this is the game film you just flush and never go back and review. Forbath, the extra point, and the lead will swell by one more. And taken down just past the 20 at about the 21-yard line. First and 10 at their own 21-yard line. The Atlanta offense out there for their next drive. To be frank, you really have to feel for them. This is appearing to not be their week yet again. So another loss in the cards as they trail big in quarter number four. From the 21, it's second and 10. Janoris Jenkins on the coverage. Throwing again. Griffin, he's going to wind up and air it out. And that will be incomplete. Tried to dial up the long one way out there, but it'll be third down. Now they face a third and 10 after back-to-back -back incompletions. And he's got his man in stride, complete. And that's not nearly going to be enough. Stopped at the 22, and he needed plenty more. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. They'll try and throw for it with Griffin. And it is incomplete. The Falcons go for it, but it doesn't work out. And the Broncos are going to get the football back in great field position. 
Everyone gears up for third down, talks about the importance of it. But fourth down, that's truly the moment of truth play, isn't it? Everything's dialed up a little bit more. And it, you know, it's such a momentum play, isn't it? Absolutely, because it can flip either way, depending on who converts on fourth down. And now a throw here secured by his running back out of the backfield. Four yards on the pickup, and that's going to lead to a third down. And it's third down. Third and short yardage, Prescott. Buying time to his left. A good decision in the end. The pull-up run gets him nine yards at a first. At the six-yard line. Got down. The quick slant caught. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one yard line. That'll bring up second and goal after the gain of five. I always laugh when people say, What's the toughest route to defend? And he'll get in. Touchdown, Denver. Leonard Fournette, his second touchdown on the season. And the Broncos add on. Even though they've got this big advantage, Charles, they are not taking their foot off the gas pedal right now. Well, I think what we're seeing is the result of all their great preparation and great practice time during the week. And even though it seems like this is a great chance to pull people back and maybe, you know, not try and score a few more times, they don't want to do that. I think they're enjoying what they're seeing, the collective effort, and they want to play it all the way out. And he's been a busy man, five for five now, as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. So that drive spanned five plays. And the man who finished it off with a run into the end zone, Leonard Fournette. Forbat to send it away now following the touchdown. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. First and 10 at their own 30-yard line. Here comes the Atlanta offense now ready to take over here. And just looking ahead, it would appear that that bye week is coming at the right time. They'll have two weeks to chew on this one. They'll probably not one that they want to chew on. A poor performance from start to finish. And incomplete as he was knocked as he threw it. And it took the ball off course. Ball on the 30 as they come up second and 10 to throw again. Griffin. And boy, that one drops incomplete, but if he was hit a fraction sooner, it may have been a fumble. Incomplete. The Falcons on third down. Not so hot. Two for nine to this point. This is third and ten. Griffin. Quick hitter here. It's complete. And he's going to lose yards. They take him down at the 26. A five-yard loss there is going to bring up fourth down. I don't know how well our microphones are picking it up for those of you at home, but uh, Charles, you and I can hear it. A lot of groans right now coming from this crowd. I don't know if we're picking up what's happening in the stadium or from the people who are supporting this team at home because it's coming through loud and clear to you and me. This offense, they've been stuck in neutral much of the game. And on that last play, they actually went in reverse. I think this crowd would have liked neutral, don't you? Yeah, <laughs> neutral would have strongly been preferred. They'll take anything positive at this point. And he went backwards. They'll be down at the 30. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. He rifles one that's intercepted. He's picked off at his own 47. And he'll bring this one back to the 29. The Falcons take over first and 10 at the 29-yard line. After the interception, here's Griffin. Throwing middle, and it's complete. And taking it to the 15-yard line before it's brought down. 15 yards, first down Atlanta. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. They'll run it here. This is their fullback getting the carry. And they get to him quickly here as he stopped right around the 13. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. The give to the fullback on the dive. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the nine. 
tackle made. Four yards on the pickup there as it'll leave him with a third and about four more for a first. And that was a good collision right there. And I know this as a former defender, if you're playing linebacker, you're going through a checklist on every play on who you think is going to get the ball and where you think the ball's going to go. Rarely do you expect the fullback position to get it. And on that play, he did. So you've got to steal yourself at that point because the contact is going to be strong. And his kick is good. And they'll get back three, but this remains a large deficit. Falcons nine. Well, in the grand scheme of things, those three points likely not going to matter much, but I guess they get a little closer, a little more respectability. Yeah, you're exactly right. They've been outplayed all game long, but like my mom used to tell me all the time before I went out, dress up a little bit, son. Make yourself respectable. And that's what they're doing here. They're just dressing up the final score. The Broncos take over first and ten at their own 26-yard line. Denver's offense ready to go again. And it would appear that the open week a week ago came just at the right time as they have dominated the proceedings here into this fourth quarter. Four down, four down. They'll try and run down some clock with Johnson. Only a couple there as he'll be brought down about the 28. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So it's Bronco football as we get your reset here. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. They'll try and run some clock with Fournette. And give him six yards here as he stopped near the 35 at the 34. He's tackled at the 34-yard line. A gain of six yards. And it's third down. He can run for it, and he will. And he will be very close to a first down, but I see the closed fist of the referee, and that means fourth down. I bet they thought they had picked that one up because it was a third and two call, and they got awfully close. Now we're at fourth and inches. I wonder if they think they're feeling lucky here and maybe want to go pick it up. 42 yards on the punt, just two on the return. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. Atlanta prepped and ready for its next possession. It's now appearing that this losing streak is going to continue. You know, the coaching staff was confident that this was going to be the game to stem the tide, but that just has not been the case. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And they're able to get this one across the 35. First play of the drive going for 14 and a first down. First down. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. And incomplete, crisis averted, almost picked. Instead, second down. Incomplete. Line of scrimmage, again the 37 as they line up second and 10. Now a deep ball there on second down, but it'll wind up incomplete. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has them staring at a third and 10. One final shot, they'll look to throw. And that will be incomplete. As time has run out on this football game. A big offensive explosion helped leading them to victory. And the defensive guys, they're just saying, hey, put those points up every week, we'll just keep winning. They will gratefully accept them, won't they? It makes their job that much easier when they're scoring that many points, allows them to play with a totally different style and a different flow. So for Denver, it's a nice win to finish off what's been an ugly first half as they move to two and six. And they will be at home for one next week against the Las Vegas Raiders. Meanwhile, for Atlanta, it's another week, another loss as they fall now to 0-9. And, and they're going to get an extra week to stew over this as they're not back in action until week 11. That'll do it for us. I'm Brandon Gordon, alongside Charles Davis. Thanks to our entire crew as well. We'll talk to you next time. So long, everybody.